ಸನಾತನಾಯ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮಾಯ ಸುಗುಣಾಯ ಸುಶಾಂತಾಯ ಸಂಪೂರ್ಣ ಸುಶೀಲ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ ಟಿಲ್ ನೌ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಯು ಭಗವಾನ್ ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೋಕೋನಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಬೀಟಲ್ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಫ್ರಾಗ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಲೋಟಸಸ್ which stood for serenity purity auspiciousness respect hospitality we spoke about a lot of these things now what happens is very different from the current situation but still connected to it because of nature the author gives us something to think about he says unmilya netra yugamuttama panjarastaha unmilya to open the eyes ನೇತ್ರ ಯುಗಮುತ್ತಮ ಪಂಜರಸ್ತಾಹ ನೇತ್ರ ಐ ನೇತ್ರ ಯುಗ ವಿಚ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಯಾರ್ ಆಫ್ ಐಸ್ ಉತ್ತಮ ಎಕ್ಸಲೆಂಟ್ ಪಂಜರ ಪಂಜರ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಕೇಜ್ ಕೇಜ್ ಸ್ತ ಸ್ತ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಸ್ತ ಲಿವ್ ಸ್ಟೇ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಸೊ ನೇತ್ರ ಯುಗಮುತ್ತಮ ಪಂಜರಸ್ತ ನೇತ್ರ ಐ ಯುಗ ಪೆರ್ ಉತ್ತಮ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಲೆಂಟ್ ಪಂಜರ ಕೇಜ್ ಸ್ತ ವಿಚ್ ರಿಸೈಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೇಜ್ ಪಾತ್ರಾವಶಿಷ್ಟ ಕದಲಿ ಫಲಪಾಯ ಸಾನಿ ಪಾತ್ರ ನೀನು ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾತ್ರ ವೆಸಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾತ್ರಾವಶಿಷ್ಟ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಪಾತ್ರ ಅವಶಿಷ್ಟ ಅವಶಿಷ್ಟ ರಿಮೈನಿಂಗ್ ಕದಲಿ ಫಲ banana banana uh, fruit right kadali phala so kadali phala payasa payasa the sweet right payasam all of us drink payasa so payasa so what does it say here patra vashishta kadali phala payasa ni so the remaining uh, payasa and kadali phala is there in the patra in the vessel bhuktva having eaten ata okay further um, having explained a lot of things till now ata what is it doing now salila sir leela leela is playing happily rejoicing like that keli shukaha shukaha shuka is a parrot keli shuka means delighted shukas the happy shukas like that ಕೇಲಿ ಶುಕ ಪಟಂತಿ ವೀಡ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಶೇಷಾದ್ವಿಶೇಖರ ವಿಭೋ ತವ ಸುಪ್ರಭಾತ ದ ಪ್ಯಾರಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ತಿರುಪತಿ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದೇ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಈಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಓವರ್ ಫುಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಬನಾನಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಪಾಯಸಂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಕೇಜ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕೇಜ್ and after eating these they are reading or singing patanti here can mean that they are reciting delightfully so that is the meaning yeah. now why all of a sudden parrots are coming what is the whole concept about it every single thing here has multiple meanings so we will get into the um, uh, specifics of this before i go on there usually whenever we see a poetry a sloka there will be a superficial meaning okay a general word to word meaning we can understand the word to word meaning but that may not be the intention of the author so what happens is we have to read in multiple dimensions to understand where the author is coming from so that is called as the sukshmartha sukshmartha is the internal meaning of this vyangyartha bhavartha how about, uh, you know at a deeper level what is the um, emotion or the feeling that this has to communicate all those has to be taken into consideration many times 
if the meaning connects to what is written in the authoritative text like the vedas or the puranas or the itihasas then they call it swapadesha they say okay so upadesha swapadesham this so there are like different layers so with all this in view understanding the poetry in different dimensions becomes a very interesting aspect in sanskrit literature right so with this uh, in mind let us now try and understand the current sloka munnilya netra they have both their eyes open they uttama panjarastaha right so they are in very nice cages patra avashishta so they are eating the leftover food um and the, the milk they are having bananas and payasam that's the second one and the third one is they sing or chant very playfully very delightedly they sing and chant these are the three points so let us understand each of these lines first is they have both their eyes open what can this mean now unmilya netra yuga when as humans we have our two eyes open we can see things like this now how does a parrot see parrot has eyes on the sides right so the parrot can see one side but the same thing is not visible on the other side it sees on two different directions is that right so to see bhagavan one eye is sufficient for the parrot but the author is specifically saying unmilya netra yugala the focus is on yugala also the pair of eyes netra yugala the two eyes the parrot is seeing now on one side it is seeing the uh, divinity of venkateshwara and padmavati tayar okay what happens other side till now we were discussing about so many devotees who are visiting bhagavan and all of us who go to visit bhagavan will be there on the other side right now the parrot is seeing everybody else on the other side so with one eye he is connecting to bhagavan on the other eye he is connecting to all the devotees of bhagavan okay on one side it is to the ultimate reality on the other side it is to the worldly uh, mundane activities that is also another interpretation so netra yugala patra avashishta kadali phala payasani this is again a very interesting thing avashishta why is the focus on avashishta he could have just said you know it is eating the banana and the payasam right what is the importance of saying it is eating the remnants or the remains of the payasam and this it is always said that in fact even for our life uh, our acharya say that we are supposed to eat only the prasada of bhagavan you know cooking for ourselves and eating just for our pleasure is not considered a right activity some alva pasuram speak of this for those who know tamil uduthu kalaindan in pidagavadi uduthu kalathadundu todutha thulai malar soodi kalaindan soodumi thondargalo even if the flower is given we offer it to bhagavan then wear the flowers if a cloth is given we offer it to bhagavan then wear it the parrots are so divine and sattvic that they eat only the remnants of bhagavat prasada so avashishta kadali that is why the focus is on the avashishta whatever is remaining it is eating that now he is given two things there phala payasani very very interesting it's not just you know fruits and uh, payasa so phala phala he could have told any phala he specifically says kadali phala payasan right so he says it is a banana how do we eat a banana we have to peel the banana and then we have to eat it you peel the skin and eat it our vedas are called as marai you know it is not the details or the essence of the vedas are not given to us like that there will be layers of things you have to uncover the truths and then identify the essence given in the vedas and the shastras so it is like the kathali phala where the layer has to be taken for you to get the phala of it for you to get the actual truth or the essence of it so kathali phala here can signify the vedas but what about 
divya prabandham so the prabandhams and all the other bhakti bhajans kind of things it is given to us like a payasam it is so sweet it feels so good you repeat god's name it feels so nice it's like a payasam given to you on a platter so both these are taken by the shuka by the parrot what is taken the vedas are taken the prabandhas are taken the jnana is taken the bhakti is taken so the payasam here refers to the devotion which is so sweet which is so easy you repeat bhagwan's name you get it katali phala payasani so what does the parrot do now it is there in this beautiful cage right uttama bancharastaha not there in normal cage so when it says uttama it can mean multiple things again one aspect of uttama can be that it is very very close to bhagwan sanadhi as close as you can get to bhagwan how will the feeling be so he is as close to bhagwan there that he is in uttama panjarasa you know it's the feel of divinity is there for that shuka the second is possibly it is in such a location that the cage itself is made of gold and all precious thing that it is uttama panjarasa but the very interesting aspect which is given is the pancharasta is actually the cage which is not a physical cage which is not like a external materialistic cage here shuka refers to a jivatma it refers to a jivatma so the cage is actually the body the shariram so uttama pancharasta means it is not just a normal body of a normal person these people refer to the acharyas they are the spiritual leaders the uh, devoted souls therefore their body is also uddama pancharasta so here the shuka refers to the great acharyas like sukabram marishi so what do they do whatever they have learned they see bhagwan they learn a lot of things patanti right they learn everything they transfer it to the devotees who are on the other side that is why they are having two eyes open now with this context if we try to understand the whole sloka a totally different dimension will come so these are great jivatmas like the sukabram marishi they are great acharyas what do they do they have two eyes open one eye for the bhagwan and padmavati taya the other eye they see all the devotees and people like us who are standing there now what does the shuka do it grabs all the knowledge from there patanti so it keeps repeating what is given by the acharyas it transfers the knowledge to the devotees it leads by example by eating the remnants of payasam and the phala the uh, bhakti and the jnana the vedas and the prabandhams and transfers that knowledge with so much of delight so much of bliss because it does not say just shuka it says keli shuka keli means delighted having had the remnants having had the knowledge for the eyes it is seeing bhagwan for the ears it is hearing all these beautiful uh, stotras happening there for its mouth it's now going to recite bhagwan nama so it is very delighted very happy so patanti keli shuka patanti it is brahmanandam that is it is there so in this environment shri sadri shekara vibho tava suprabadam may this be a very auspicious dawn to you ho bhagwan ho sheshadri shekara unmilya netra yuga muttama panjarastha पात्रावशिष्ट कदली पलपायसानी भुक्वा सलील मथ केली शुखा फटंती शेषाद्रिशे खर विभो तव सुप्रभातम कायेन वाचा मनसेंद्रिय इवा बुद्ध्यात्मना वा प्रहृदय स्वभावात करोमि यत्यत् सकलं परस्मै नारायणायेति समर्पयामि 